Hey guys, welcome back to the Power Purge and it's day two. So yesterday we cleaned the fridge and cleaned on top of the fridge. That was your extra credit. How'd you do? Did you leave a comment? Did you just tell me what the grossest thing is that you found? Cause that's what I'm really interested in. Okay, it is day two and I am Hannah Keeley, America's number one mom coach and I'm coaching you to declutter your entire home in 30 days. So what are we gonna do on day two? We're doing the pantry. Okay, now this is what I advise you to do for the pantry. Here's my pantry and kind of jumbled up. You can see all the stuff, right? All the stuff. Things are not really where they're supposed to be, kind of mixed up. So here's what you wanna do. We're gonna do the same thing we did for our fridge. We're gonna take everything off the shelf. We're gonna clean it off and we're gonna put it back. But here's the deal. When you put it back, I want you to think like a grocery store. So for a grocery store, you've got like, the oils together and the vinegars like these like nuts don't go up here neither does the oatmeal i don't know how this got up here but what we're going to do is organize all of it and we're going to put baking things together we're going to put canned foods together like i don't i don't even know where i got this from but it shouldn't be sitting here with all the cans so we're going to organize it just like a grocery store so when you look at it on the counter, I want you to think what goes on the shelf, what aisle in the grocery store is this shelf or this part of the shelf and put everything there. That way your mind, because you know how a grocery store is laid out, your mom, you probably already know this, right? So we're just going to organize your pantry the same way. So everything is easy to find and it's accessible and it's organized. Now, what is going to be our extra credit? extra credit is spices. Now, if you're the kind of person who's like, their spices are so organized and it's even alphabetical, I like kudos to you. That is awesome. For me, no, I'm not going to keep alphabetical spices, but I will tell you a really cool way to organize your spices. Now, remember this is extra credit. If you want to just stop at your pantry, totally cool. But there's some, I got some diehard mamas out there. They're like, let's go. Like, let's do the next level. So when you do your spices, I want you to think, how to organize these, not alphabetical, but I want you to think something a little more simple. I want you to decide sweet or savory. That way when you're making a recipe, you're preparing food, you know that you're, you're going to go directly to that area. So for example, I'm gonna put like the um, cinnamon and the pumpkin spice together in one area. Okay, I'm gonna put the I'm not going to put the mustard there, right? I'm not going to put the basil there. I'm going to put those in another area. Or you may want to organize it by brands if you like a specific brand. Another thing you can do, you can do sweet, spicy, and then combinations. Like when you have like pizza seasoning or ranch seasoning or something like that. You may, or even like, uh, you know, like a Mrs. Dash, something like that. You can put those in one area too. So it doesn't have to be confusing because as soon as you get them all alphabetized, chances are someone, a kid is gonna come in there and they're gonna make something and then leave it totally disorganized. That's okay. Make it simple, that way it's sustainable. Now for larger spices, like the Italian seasoning or the taco seasoning, you can keep all of these together in one spot so you know where they are. But the important thing is, is to keep it organized. And the true test of how well organized something is, is if you can access it immediately. So make it easy, make it work with you, but that's what we're gonna do. Day two, we're gonna clean the pantry, organize it, declutter it, throw away all that old nasty stuff without any mom guilt. And for extra credit, we're doing the spices. So make sure you, again, tell me about the grossest thing you find and how the experience was for you because we're all doing this together. So let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe so we can keep on doing this together. I'll see you later.